Welcome back to the shop. Today I'm going to be making a card holder for a wedding I'm working on, making a bunch of stuff for. And just like these lanterns I've made before, um, I'm going to have a link in the description if you want to check out that video, but I'm going to make a so, kind of match it. Um, it's going to be about 14 and a half inches long by 13 and a half inches tall by 8 inches thick, and I'll have a slot to drop cards in on the top. The top should be able to remove. I'm not sure yet, I haven't built it. So let's see what happens. Alright, what you saw me do was cut the pieces to length, now I'm going to sand everything and I'm going to add a chamfer to two sides. Not quite sure how this is going to work out, but I am picturing this in my head as the boards are like this. I don't really want a tight gap, I kind of want there to be a little chamfer between the two to let you know that these are slats. So let's give it a shot and see what happens. If you have not yet already, this is a great time to hit the uh, subscribe button, share the video, give it a thumbs up. You guys know what to do, it's free to support me and it helps out the channel. And thanks for watching. Okay, I'm almost done with the uh, construction of the box. Now, what I did is I tried hitting record, but I added some cleats on the inside there and stapled them from the outside. I think I forgot to hit record, so unfortunately I do not have that footage. But I added cleats to the lid here to help the drying process. Um, I spaced them out so they fit kind of loose-like. And now I'm going to trim down the two ends and put a slot for envelopes to fit in. So let's see what happens.
Yep. Okay, now I'm sanding the lid to make the match the edges of the box, and I'm laying out a stick to trace around to make the slot for the cards to fall into. I'm going to be using a drill bit to get each corner or edge of the slot, and then following that with my jigsaw. Now I'm using the jigsaw to run it back and forth, kind of as a little sander to clean up the corner edges to make them more square. Okay, I'm getting ready to stain this card box. I'm going to be using Early American Stain. Um, it's a light brown. It's going to match everything else I'm making for this wedding. So, let's stain. I do want to add in, um, after it dries for a good couple minutes, it's very important to wipe off the excess stain or it will never dry. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video, and if you could do me a favor, click a box here or there to take you to another video that I hope you'll like. And I just wanna say thanks for watching my video, and I'll see you next time with another Craft by Ray video.